When you hear luxury, what comes to mind? In fact, don't worry, because we are stepping into a world of pure luxury and discovering the incredible lifestyle of Beyoncé, filled with stunning mansions in unique places like Bel Air, Miami, and New Orleans. She and her husband, Jay-Z, have amassed a stunning collection of mansions, with each one more lavish than the last. Whether it's their $88 million Bel Air Mega Mansion with four pools, their $26 million Hamptons Estate with a 12,000 bottle wine cellar, or their $2.6 million New Orleans Mansion with a rooftop garden, Beyoncé and Jay-Z know how to live in style. In fact, Beyoncé's luxurious homes are not just places to stay, but also expressions of her personality, tastes, and achievements. Beyoncé's luxurious homes are the ultimate symbols of her success and influence in the music industry and beyond. So, join me today as we explore the captivating attraction of her properties. If you ever wondered how Beyoncé and Jay-Z live, you might want to look at their $88 million Bel Air mega mansion that they share with their three children. Well, Beyoncé and Jay-Z's mansion is so lavish that it makes Buckingham Palace look like a shack. The interior, it's so lavish. Even the chandeliers have their trainers. And the pools? Well, they're so big that lifeguards need GPS to navigate. In fact, the interior is so fancy that the furniture refuses to let you sit unless you're wearing a tuxedo. The mansion has everything you can imagine and more. It's the epitome of luxury. This awe-inspiring residence is a testament to Beyoncé's unparalleled success and offers an extraordinary lifestyle for their family of five. This ultra-modern, luxurious home is not just a place to stay, but also a masterpiece of architecture and design. It features approximately 30,000 square feet of living space spread throughout six separate buildings, each connected by glass walkways. The main house has eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms, including a master suite with a private terrace and a spa-like bathroom. The kitchen is equipped with state-of-the-art appliances and a marble island. The home also boasts a 15-car garage, a home theater, a recording studio, and a bulletproof window. But the most impressive part of the mansion is the outdoor area, which covers more than 1.5 acres of land. There are four swimming pools, each with a different shape and size, and one even has a living space underneath it. There is also a basketball court, a helipad, and a rooftop garden with stunning views of the city and the ocean. The property is surrounded by lush landscaping and high walls for privacy and security. So this Bel Air mansion of Beyoncé seems popular, but let me tell you a story of her other properties, such as her Tribeca penthouse in New York City, her condo overlooking Central Park, and more. Hold on! Before we continue, welcome to Wealth Circle, your gateway to financial clarity. Dive into the secrets behind the wealthy, grasp money's dynamics and take your first steps towards a rewarding side income. Kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to discover, learn, and prosper with us. Let's start with the Tribeca penthouse in New York City. This mansion is surrounded by 70,000 orchids flown in from Thailand. The penthouse is located in a converted 1929 brick warehouse building and measures 8,000 square feet with an additional 3,000 square feet of outdoor terraces. The home features a grand living room with 22-foot ceilings, a chef's kitchen, a library, a master suite with a spa-like bathroom, and a rooftop helipad. Jay-Z bought the penthouse in 2004 for $6.85 million, estimated to be worth over $30 million today. In fact, living in this penthouse is like living in a cozy loft with a touch of elegance. What about her condo overlooking Central Park? This was Beyoncé's bachelorette pad before she married Jay-Z. The condo is located on the 44th floor of the One Beacon Court building in Midtown Manhattan and offers spectacular views of Central Park. The condo has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, floor to ceiling windows, 11 foot ceilings, and high end interior finishes selected by Paris designer Jacques Grange. Beyoncé bought the condo in 2005 for $5 million and sold it in 2017 for $9.95 million. Her waterfront villa on Indian Creek Island in Miami 
Well, this is where the couple escaped after their infamous elevator incident with Solent in 2014. The villa is located on the exclusive Indian Creek Island, where neighbors include Tom Brady, Gizzle Bunchen, Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner. The villa has seven bedrooms, eight and a half bathrooms, a pool, a spa, a wine cellar, and a private dock. The couple bought the villa in 2008 for $9.3 million, and it is currently valued at $15.5 million. What about her East Hampton estate? The estate is at 81 Briar Patch Road in East Hampton and covers 12,000 square feet on two acres of land. The estate has seven bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, four fireplaces, a gourmet kitchen, a library, a home theater, a gym, and a recording studio. The estate also boasts 203 feet of waterfront property on Georgica Pond and adjacent to a 17-acre meadow preserve. The couple bought the estate in 2017 for $26 million, which is currently worth $31.8 million. Living in this estate is like living in a serene sanctuary with a lot of nature. Beyoncé spreading her properties across different areas is called diversification of investment. This is the importance of diversification when investing. With diversification, the risk is always low. But I have a thought. Do you think Jay-Z always influences Beyoncé's mansion choice and location? As you can see, Beyoncé and Jay-Z have a diverse portfolio of homes. They have modern and sleek homes, historic and charming, spacious and cozy, urban and rural. But there's one thing. Let me reveal a secret on how she uses her mansions for different purposes. Well, let me tell you a funny story. Beyoncé and Jay-Z tied the knot at their Tropica penthouse in 2008 amid 70,000 orchids jet setting in from Thailand. Guests thought they were at a Jay-Z album party, thanks to a sneaky blueprint 4K hint. Fast forward to 2018, they dazzled at Tiffany & Co. with a $30 million necklace and $4 million ring. Oprah, Obama, and even Sasha Fierce attended. And the fun didn't stop. Their 2019 Bel Air bash made neighbors question an alien invasion. But no, it was just fireworks and Queen Bee's booming voice. But hey, this is not all that Beyoncé does with her mansions. She also celebrated her 35th birthday at their East Hampton estate in 2016, with guests like Alicia Keys, Chance the Rapper, and Usher. Beyoncé is not selfish with her mansions and sometimes rents them out to other celebrities who need a place to stay or work. Beyoncé is not only generous with her money, but also with her mansions. She has donated millions of dollars to various causes, such as Hurricane Katrina Relief, the Black Lives Matter movement, and COVID-19 relief. She also donated one of her Houston mansions to Hurricane Harvey victims in 2017, providing them shelter and food. You know it's Hurricane Harvey, it's time to get her those who need. I got the homie with me today. Hey. Ace Town, where we at right now? Representing that tray. <laughs> so, as we can see, like Jay-Z, Beyonce uses most of her wealth for charity work, including her mansions. Beyonce is a music icon and has incorporated music-related decor in her mansions to honor her passion, career, and legacy. For example, she has a grand piano in her Tribeca penthouse, a recording studio in her East Hampton estate, and a home theater in her Bel Air mansion. She also has vinyl records, musical instruments, and awards displayed in her homes. Beyoncé's mansions are not just places to stay, but also expressions of her style and influence. She has created dream homes for herself and her family, where they can enjoy their wealth and fame in comfort and style. How do you feel about Beyoncé's mansions? Do you admire her choices or question her motives? Well, whatever the answer is, LeBron James is doing more of what Beyoncé is doing, and in fact, more. To learn more, kindly check out our video on LeBron James's winning portfolio.